Welcome back guys to the second channel. Today's video was requested by this mad lad from the Patreon. If you want to request your own video every month or take part in fortnightly Q&As, check out the featured tiers in the description. Take note that requested videos will be on this or the main channel, Mysterious Weave, depending on the topic covered, with other rules outlined on the Patreon for videos I'll do. But enough on that, enjoy a what if battle of Forkel from Vinland Saga up against Serpico from Berserk. Hope you enjoy. I'll start today's video with our boy Forkel, with him actually being my favourite character in all of Inland Saga, a series that I rate highly. And Forkel is one of the strongest characters throughout that series, being known as the tall or the invincible throughout, with him most likely being the strongest physical wise character in the series in my opinion, and can be outlined as an absolute mad lad who just loves to fight people and kill people. I'll cover now his power and abilities. So throughout the series he's shown multiple times butchering groups of vikings with his axe or with his just hands alone just going in and wiping out whole squads of vikings by himself being an absolute beast. He's also shown throwing his axe like from pretty far away and taking out multiple people at once with this axe which is pretty impressive. We have him like uppercutting a horse with his raw strength and able to knock it down with people actually on the horse which is absolutely insane and honestly one of my favourite scenes in all of Vinland Saga. Later on in Vinland we see him actually 1v1 like a super crazy bear hand to hand. This defeats that bear after fighting all night with him by choking him out. One of the funniest and most badass feats and coolest moments for 4 Cal in the whole series. We also see him walking through walls at various points to surprise people and start rowing people making him even more of a badass in my opinion. His speed is kind of hard to gauge. He's being out outsped by people like Garm and Forfin throughout the series who are smaller lighter characters who excel at being quite speedy but he has shown to be somewhat uh like comparable to them he doesn't get like fully blitz destroyed by them he can react somewhat so he's a pretty fast character for the Vinland Saga verse in my opinion he also seems to have a pretty high pain tolerance and be an absolute tank with him losing fingers and not showing really any sign of pain and then various other beatings he's taking throughout the series I forgot to mention this earlier but he's able to pick up huge boulders like this and chuck them down at boats like one shotting the boats with it showing his insane raw physical strength but the biggest downside or weakness of 4Cal in my opinion is his intelligence. He seems to be quite like animalistic and relies on his like natural instincts more than being tactical and that's kind of why he was taken out by the likes of uh, Askeladd and Forfin early parts of Vinland Saga. But while saying that, he isn't a completely stupid character and is pretty smart when it comes to battle intelligence or fighting opponents and absolutely rolling and killing masses of people. And also has somewhat good leadership skills which is, I am guess, adding to his overall intelligence. Now to talk about our boy Serpico from Berserk. He throughout the series has been a pretty interesting character in my opinion. His choice as weapon is his sword that gets like a buff later on that I'll talk about. His Attack power or power abilities is kind of hard to gauge really. He's destroyed some like low end demons throughout the series. Nothing major like an apostle or he hasn't like 1v1 an apostle or something. Which by default would put him over 4 Cal or anyone in Vinland Saga. But he has pressured guts at various points throughout the series. With his tactics which is probably his biggest asset. And his other biggest asset is in my opinion his speed. When researching this video I found that he actually pretty much slashed a lightning bolt in half from the Apostle Ganesha. I probably butchered his name, I don't remember how to say his name honestly, but he actually slashed the lightning bolt that he was sending at Guts, which puts his speed way over anything in the Vinland Saga verse if I'm correct. I may be completely wrong here but I believe Serpico's speed with that feat alone puts him way above 4 Kel. But physical strength wise he is quite a bit below 4 Kel with him not really having very many feats throughout the series demonstrating his physical strength with him as we know mostly relying on his sword and his tactics to defeat various people or pressure people like Guts who is a physical powerhouse. I would say his tankiness is also quite a bit below 4 Cal, but we also have his equipment buff that he gets later on in the story, such as his 
wind sword and his wind cloak I guess which allows him to make like wind based attacks as well as wind based defense like a wind bearer that may actually stop Forkel from throwing his axe to take Serpico out and then his wind cloak also allows him to kind of fly and increases his mobility even more than what he already was which helped him in pretty much getting rid of the lightning strike from the apostle that I mentioned earlier. So how do I think the what if battle will go? When it comes to raw power, Forkel has the advantage as well as tankiness, Forkel has the advantage. But when it comes to speed, Serpico has the advantage as well as when it comes to tactics or pretty much overall intelligence. There isn't any reason to suggest that Serpico's attacks won't do insane amount of damage to Forkel as Forkel may be somewhat superhuman in the villain saga verse but isn't really superhuman in the Berserk Earth considering all the demons and stuff Serpico has defeated throughout the series. So attacks from his wind sword or his regular weapon earlier in the story will do damage to Forkel. So I think Forkel if you know landing an attack on Serpico may actually defeat him but the biggest issue is I think Serpico is too fast to actually get hit by Forkel considering his tactic as well he may use his smaller size compared to Forkel to his advantage to get in close and absolutely dominate Forkel and kill him quite quickly. And if you also consider his wind abilities he gets later on in the series, I think Serpico would absolutely dominate Forkel. But without the wind abilities, I think it would be a little bit closer and you may even argue the fight would be somewhat similar to Serpico versus Guts. But as we know, if the fight continued, Guts would have won all of those encounters. But as a whole, I'm going to give it to Serpico in this what if battle. That's pretty much everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe, join the Discord and that's it guys. Peace.